So with summer comes the extreme heat that we need to bear through, especially if you don't own an air conditioner or maybe your air conditioner broke and you just can't fix it right now. When there's extreme temperatures, it's really important that we find a way to keep our hamsters cool. Now the ideal temperature that you want your hamster's enclosure to stay at is generally 65 degrees to 75 degrees. Many other countries in the summer get very, very hot. We go through heat waves. And when your house starts to get to temperatures of 86 degrees, it's really important we find those ways to keep our hamsters cool. Otherwise, they can get heat stroke. Definitely not good. If you realize your hamster has heat stroke and they are floppy and lifeless, you're gonna wanna make sure to try and cool them down as fast as possible. And if they don't start to wake up, you definitely need to go see your exotic vet. To start off, if you live in a very hot climate where it is like hot all year round and you wanna own hamsters long term, but you don't have an air conditioning unit, then I probably would suggest saving up to get a portable air conditioner or multiple fans so that you can put that in the room that the hamster is going to be living in because it's not good for them to be constantly in extreme heat. For your cage, I would highly recommend using aspen shavings rather than paper-based bedding because I find that the aspen doesn't hold in heat as well as a paper-based bedding does. Another thing is to not get rid of your bedding depth. When you have a deep substrate, it's going to be cooler down in the burrows rather than just giving your hamster like no no bedding <laughs> because if you look in the wild hamsters make burrows and the burrows are where they're going to stay cool when outside is really really hot so it makes sense to give your hamster more bedding another important thing is that you keep your hamster out of direct sunlight um, when you have your hamster's cage in direct sunlight it's going to heat up a lot faster if you do have your hamster's cage in direct sunlight you are going to want to close your blinds in that room so that it blocks out some of the heat Another thing is if you have a portable cage and you're able to move it, you want to move your hamster's cage to the lowest floor in your house. So if you live in a three-story house and your hamster lives on the third level, I would bring them down to the first level because heat rises, so that third level is going to be the hottest area in your house. Some other ways to keep your hamsters cool is to buy those hard refreezable ice packs and you can freeze these and then lean them up against your hamster's hideout so that it keeps it cool. Make sure you buy a couple of these so that you can cycle them out every time one melts. And if you can't find them and you just don't, or you don't want to buy them, you can simply make one by taking a empty water bottle, fill it with water, put it in your freezer, wait for it to freeze, and then put a towel around it and then put it in your hamster's cage. Just make sure your hamster's not a big chewer. Things like stainless steel dishes, ceramic items, terracotta pots, and a tile that you buy from the hardware store are really great because you can put these in the freezer and then put them in the cage and they stay relatively cool. So if your hamster gets too hot, they can go and they can lay down on that cool object and cool themselves off. As well as you can put their sand bath in the freezer so that way when you put it in their cage, they do a little dig or flip, they're going to be cooled down by that sand. You're also going to want to make sure that their water isn't getting too warm. When water starts to get at a warmer temperature, bacteria can grow a lot more easily. So for one, you're going to want to be cleaning out their water dish and water bottle a lot more often when you're going through a heat wave. And also to keep the water cool, you can also put in some little ice cubes so that it doesn't um, get warm as fast. You're also going to want to make sure your hamster stays hydrated because you don't want them to get dehydrated during a heat wave. So some foods that you can feed that are a little bit higher in water content would be cucumber, celery, and zucchini, and these can keep your hamsters more hydrated. So I hope this video could help whether your situation be that you just don't own an air conditioning unit or maybe your air conditioning unit broke. Either way, I really hope this video can help and I hope all the hamsters out there stay cool this summer. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!